After a week of watching the market, I'm happy to report that it's a good time to buy some comics. So go grab your vibe juice and meet us back here in the comic room because this list is just too hot to pass up. I'll see you in a second. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of You Know Keep It Comics. As always, I am your humble host, C3. And I'm back with another top 10 list and market update for you. Yes, for you, the comic book community. So make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, so that you don't miss these lists that I drop every week. And definitely stick around to the end because we're going to do a giveaway this show. All right? So... We're going to start this list off at number 10. We got a lot of hot comic books out there. So much going on on the market. I just had to share this information with you. I don't know if these prices can get any lower, but a lot of these books provide a perfect opportunity for buy-in if you're looking to add them to your collection. All right? So on the list at number 10, we got a hot cover alert, ladies and gentlemen. This book is hot, buzzing around the community. So we have to talk about Wonder Woman, issue number eight. Oh, yeah. This is that Joshua Sway, Swaby. This is a beautiful cover. This is a 1 in 25. It's a variance, a ratio. So if you want to add this to your collection, this may, may be a great opportunity for buy-in. This is strictly a cover purchase for me, though. So I want to throw that out there so everybody knows. A cover lover's delight is what I call it. If you love covers, this one is delightful. All right? This book is up 15.72%. With the average price for a raw copy going for $58. The last recorded sale for this book was $56. And there are no graded information. There is no graded information on this because this is a fairly new book. This book just recently hit the shelves. We have had a total of 29 sales for this particular book thus far. With a high sale hitting $70 for a raw copy. And that was back in uh, April... And fair market value has this book resting at $58 for a raw copy in near mint condition. Uh, for, a color, for, for a cover of this caliber, I don't know if prices can get any lower, right? Hot modern book, Wonder Woman versus the Sovereign. Check it out. It's on the move. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at the list at number nine, fueled by X-Men 97, no doubt. This is a strike while the iron is cold book, okay? And we got to talk about Miss Marvel, issue number nine, that 30 cent variant cover, all right? This is the first appearance of the of uh, Death Bird. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I've been watching that X-Men 97. I was extremely blown away by the last, by the last couple of episodes. Uh, it was the first time I was able to witness Death Bird on the screen. I liked her energy. She is a no nonsense type of <laughs> type of chick. I'm gonna call her type of bird chick bird. <laughs> Get it? I don't know, but I really enjoyed watching her on the big tree. She's got no love for the humans and Professor and Professor Xavier, right? But I really enjoyed her, so it made me want to go after her book. So I took a, I looked it up, and this is what we came up with. This book is down sixteen point twenty eight percent with a high sale reaching. $607 for 9.8, and that was back in 2022. Now, the last recorded sale for this book was just recent, where it sold for $13. Now, the average price for a raw copy is $15, and the average price for the graded copy is $305. We've had a total of 697 sales for this book so far, and we continue to see more sales coming along. All right? Now, I'm confident that in today's market, in today's climate, you could land this book in a 9.8 for a lot less than 600 bucks, right? So if you're interested in Miss Marvel, issue number nine, that 30 cent cover, keep your eye out on it because it's moving on the secondary market. Check it out. Excuse me a second. Let me grab a sip of this vibe juice. It's a beautiful morning. I'm excited. Couldn't wait to do this video. All right. At the list at number eight, we have another Strike While the Iron is Cold moment, right? And this title is something that we have to talk about because we don't, out of all the characters, out of all the heroes in the Marvel Universe, 
we hear the least about Silver Surfer, right? So let's talk about Silver Surfer, issue number 11, and this is definitely a buying opportunity, all right? Now, this book is also down uh, almost 9%. Average price for a raw copy is $30, $35 right now. Last recorded sale for this book at a raw copy was $40, while the average price for the graded copy is $143. 607 total sales so far on the secondary market, with a, with a high sale in this particular book reaching an astounding $6,600, and that was for the CGC 9.8 back in 2022. All right? Now, if that's too steep for your blood, don't worry, because fair market value has this book resting at $35 for a raw copy in fine condition. That low-hanging fruit is always worth going after as well. Now, like I said, out of all the heroes in the MCU, out of all the stories that we hear everybody talking about, we hear the least about Silver Surfer, about Galactus. So I've been really keeping my eye out on these books because there's a strong possibility that these Silver Surfer may pop up in someone else's movie and they don't tell us about it. So I'm just keeping my eye out on these particular books, right? Silver Age goodness at its best. You can't go wrong either way. It's a great read. And if the speculation doesn't pan out, you still got a good book in your collection, all right? So Silver Surfer, issue number 11. Keep your eye out on it. It's hot. And it's definitely moving. Number seven on the list. It's just a hot book. Matter of fact, it's not just a hot book. It's also a key. So we got to talk about X-Men Deadly Genesis issue number one, that Joe Casada variant. Absolutely. You guys see this book? It's the first appearance of Vulcan, a.k.a. Gabrielle Summers. Absolutely, right? So, <coughs> excuse me, still under the weather, but still pumping out these videos because I love you guys, right? Now, this book is up 4.66%. And seeing a steady growth, right? And it's starting to see significant movement on the secondary market. We had a high sell of $350 for CGC 9.8 back in 2021. But the last recorded sell for this book was just $20. Yes, my friends. $20 is the buying point, is the price point for buying for this particular book. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know. I don't know if these prices can get any lower. But I know right now, it's a good opportunity to get your hands on this book if you need to add it to your collection. Average price for the raw copy is just $12. It did get lower. <laughs> Average price for the greater copy is $134. And we've had 277 sales of this particular book thus far, right? Now, this book is great for those people who are like new to the hobby. It's an excellent jumping in point with, uh, when you're talking about the X-Men uh, run. This is one of those modern books uh with that old school feel to it yes and it's definitely worthy of anybody adding it to their collection so check it out x-men deadly genesis issue number one the joe casada cover it's moving ladies and gentlemen at the list at number six we know the first appearance is on fire right now right it, 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 is, it stays on fire i get alerts about the first appearance all the time but the second appearance is now starting to see significant movement as well. So let's talk about Werewolf by Night, issue number 33, the second appearance of Moon Knight. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, one of my all-time favorite characters. I've turned into a big fan of Moon Knight. Like, I, I love him. I loved him in the series. I loved him. I, I love him in the comic books, man. Like, so this guy is really, really grown on me. So I had to talk about this book just strictly out of my love for Moon Knight. You look around me, you see I got a lot of Moon Knight situations going on. Um, this book is up 11.24% and steadily in in increasing, right? Average price for a raw copy, $67. Average price for the graded copy, $301. Now, we've had a total of 921 sales for this book to change hands on the secondary market. Last recorded sale for this book was for $125, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we've got a high sell that has reached a magnificent $13,200 for CGC 9.8 that took place in 2021. And like I said, you don't have to worry about the high sales. If those are out of your range, you can always reach out to the seller, negotiate, 
probably get that price down a little bit. But even if that's still too steep for you, you could also keep your eye out on fair market value because fair market value for the raw copy in this book is $67 in very good condition. And I like to use fair market value to my advantage because that gives me a price point for buying when I'm looking at particular books. Do I want to purchase it in a raw copy or do I want to go after that graded copy? Depending on what book it is, depending on what I need in my collection, I'll make my, my decision from there. But that's why I share this information because there's a range of money uh, that you may have available. And, you know, you might not be able to get the 9-8. So you might want to go after the very good and then send it in eventually and have it graded. You know, there's this whole process we, we collectors go through in order to get what we need in our collection, right? So that's why we share the information. Now, I even dug a little deeper for you and went on Go Collect. And I found out that we got 1,510 universal grades on the census. We've got 11 9.8s, 46 9.6s, 107 9.4s, 139 9.2s, and we got 146 9.0s. And of course, the lower hanging fruit will always go for less, right? Now, uh, the 9.8 last sold for $13,200. Fair market value is saying that the 9.6s are going for like 950 bucks. So you may want to jump in from there, just depending on what you're able to afford. I don't know. Only you know that. I'm just here to share the information. Why? Because it's all about you, the comic book community. <laughs> and it's good vibes only. We only here for the love of the hobby. So check your nonsense at the door while we do what we do. All right, that's number six, ladies and gentlemen. Werewolf by Night, issue number 33. It's moving on the secondary market, so make sure you keep your eye on it. All right, we have made it to the halfway mark. Yes, that was pretty quick. Allow me to just take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by checking out the channel. I am super excited about this video. I can't wait to see what it does uh, on YouTube. We have finally passed the 5,000 mark. <laughs> it has been a long ride. Wow. But it doesn't actually seem that long. It kind of seems like yesterday. I remember when we only had like, when it was only 12 of us. Wow. Yep. And the video was only doing maybe 25 to 30 views in a week. Yeah, I used to be excited. I remember when I was excited about those 30 views, man. I man, I thought we, we was doing something. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me, going through the struggle with me, me learning how to do videos and how to, you know, I just appreciate you guys for just hanging around as I was just trying to figure out a way to have fun, enjoying the hobby and just sharing it with others in the most convenient way. So thank you guys. And if this is your first time stopping by checking out the channel, I'm the goofball. I'm the one who, you know, <laughs> came up with the the phrase, keep it comic. You hear it anywhere else, they're just secondary. I'm the original, and it feels good to be that, right? So I appreciate you. Thank you guys for stopping by checking out the channel. It's Keep It Comics, good vibes only. We're not going to allow it to be anything else. This is a safe space for us to come share the love of the hobby without all the extra nonsense. No hate at the gate. <laughs> Check your hate at the gate, all right? So thank you guys. Like, subscribe, share, stick around to the end. We're going to do a quick giveaway, and I'll tell you the details about that after we talk about that number one, all right? But for now, at the list at number five, we got a hot key that's not going away. This is New X-Men, issue number 114, the direct edition. Yes, we've seen this book so much but it continues to surface. It continues to cycle around. This is the first appearance of Cassandra Nova. Um, plus, this is the story that they that they based that X-Men 97 uh, fifth episode on, I believe it was. Yeah. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. All right, yep, still struggling with this cold, man. Could be flu, could be pneumonia, we don't know yet. I'm waiting for the results, All right? But uh, yeah, this is this is the book that they took that episode from, and you know they might have switched some things in there, but this is what the foundation of it was. But anyway, this book is up nine point ninety two percent with a high sell of three hundred dollars, and the last recorded sell for this book was twenty five dollars. 
average price for the raw copy is $22, while the average price for the graded copy is at a low $156, $156 for the graded copy. Excuse me. Now, we've had a total of 1,248 total sales for this particular book, and these numbers continue to climb. This X-Men 97 series has been uh, embraced by the comic book community, and it has caused a lot of X-Men books to just spike, man. I mean, all types of series are just surfacing right now. So if you haven't watched X-Men 97, check it out. If you've never read an X-Men book, now may be a good time to do so because it has a lot of support out there, all right? Uh, New X-Men. Issue number 114, the direct edition. It's on the move, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your eye out on it. At the list at number four, this next book is a book I love talking about. Why? I'll show you. Let's talk about Batman, issue number 181, first appearance of Poison Ivy. Oh, yes. Now, the reason I love talking about this book is because I'm a big fan of Poison Ivy. Not just because her and Harley Quinn have become the best of friends, but I like Poison Ivy's personality. And I like the fact that she's a more sensual villain in terms of how she carries herself. She, to me, she is, you know, she carries herself ladylike, if I may say so. And, and I think that's pretty dope. I think it's just important for a character to embrace themselves, right? And be who they are. Uh, and, and, and for that to come across in the comics uh, as well as on the screen, right? So that's who Poison Ivy is to me. And not to mention, I've been watching her first appearance all winter long. And I've, I've off, almost pulled the trigger several, on several occasions, but something just wasn't right. First of all, I need that book to be in a... a, a a very good condition, right? But I also, I need that pinup to be in there. I don't understand why people are trying to get graded money for books that are incomplete. And and I don't understand that. Leave a comment down below. Have you experienced that on, on, on eBay at all? Like uh, people trying to get uh, graded money for raw books, not not only raw books, but incomplete books. And, and, and I'm just, and then they don't even want to negotiate it. They're, they're, they're firm on that. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Like your book is not even complete. Like, so yeah, but that's why I haven't pulled the trigger quite yet. So I'm still looking. Let's talk numbers though. This book is up on a 50% a, 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 a increase in copy sold, right? Average price for the raw copy, $413. The average price for the graded copy is $578 with a total of 1,510 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. This book has a high sell of 96,000. Yes, I said that right. $96,000. Yes, that's the high sell for this book. And that was for CGC 9.8 that took place last year in 2023. Now, if that's out of a lot of a lot of you guys' price range, that's absolutely understandable. Don't worry about it. Fair market value has it resting at $413 for a raw book in very good condition. Now, I don't mind paying the $413, but I need that pinup to be in there. That's the bottom line, right? And the book's gotta be in, you know, it's gotta be in very good condition. Can't sell me a poor book for $413 because that's not fair market value, right? So if the book is in poor condition, it may run for about 225, maybe. I don't know, but I'll let you decide. <laughs> this book is always gonna be a fair favorite, man. And I can argue this point all day, every day, because it's a book that I'm, I, I'm very, I am extremely interested in. So it's worthy of anybody's collection. Silver love, silver love, silver love. So if you need Batman issue number 181 in your collection, now may be a good time for you to jump on it. Make sure that pinup is in there too. All right, ladies, gentlemen, at the list at number three, we got to talk about Spider-Man versus Wolverine issue number one. Yes, this is the death of Ned Leeds. Oh yeah, there's been a lot of chatter about this person uh, in the comic book community. 
This book is up 118.18% and still climbing with the high sale of $1,315 for a 9.9 .9 back in 2012. <coughs> yes, the 9.9 .9 is the golden egg. All right. So the last recorded sale for this book was $17. And now the average price for a raw copy is $17 with the average price for a graded copy being $232. Total recorded sales for this book thus far is 992 sales, right? Now, with all the chatter around the community, there is a possibility that Ned Leeds is going to play uh, one of the roles of a Spider-Man villain. It hasn't yet been seen. We haven't seen it yet, but the way the MCU is, is going right now, anything's possible, right? So I think the comic book community is paying attention to the fact that all things are possible in the MCU at this moment right now. Um, Ned Leeds could be one of those one of those villains turned into one of Spider-Man's uh, villains. So Spider-Man versus Wolverine, Death of Ned Leeds, issue number one, is on the move in the secondary market. Check it out if you need to add that one to your collection as well. All right? Now, I always want to explain this to everybody. Just because you don't hear you don't hear about the character. Just because you don't hear about the character going to be on the big screen does not mean that the book is not hot. You get it? You understand what I'm saying? Just because there's not a movie being made about it doesn't mean that the book isn't hot or the character isn't hot, right? So it doesn't take away from the fact that it's still a hot book just because no one's talking about it, just because it hasn't made it to those uh, bigger channels and you know and no one's talking about it doesn't mean that the book is a hot that book could be hot and you guys don't know about it perfect example Avengers issue number 32 this is the first team appearance of the sons of the serpent and Bill Foster who later becomes Black Goliath yes a hot book that no one's talking about Absolutely. And it needs to be brought to your attention. That's where I come in at. <laughs> Making sure you're informed about what's hot and what's not out there on the secondary market. And not just to cause the feeding frenzy, but so that while you're out there on the hunt, you can put to, you can put this list to good use and grab some books for not a lot of money, right? Because I don't like paying a lot of money for every book that I'm trying to add to my collection. I do want to you know, spread it around a little bit, try to get the most bang, the most bang for my buck. All right. Now, this book is up 136%. Last recorded sale for this book was $117. Average price for the raw copy right now is just $19. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, $19 price point for buy-in. Average price for the graded copy is $485. We've had a total of 738 sales for this book so far in the secondary market. People can tend, continue to sought to seek after this book. This book is heavily sought after, and it will be uh, for quite some time. It's a classic book, definitely one for the collection. We had a high sale back in 2018 for a CGC 9.8, where that book went for $1,375. Now, the beautiful thing about this book is if you like variety, Black Goliath is a book that you want to add to your collection based on the fact that Avengers issue number 32 is a sleeper pick. It's definitely a sleeper pick. All right? So keep your eye out for Avengers issue number 32 because it's moving on the secondary market. All right? Now, make sure you guys hawk smash that like button and, and, so you don't miss out for the next list. I drop them every week. And like I said, variety, variety, variety. I'm, a, I'm an option, right? <laughs> I'm not the op, but I am an option, right? Now, we all watch who we watch, what we watch, but I like to do things a little different. I don't like being like everybody else. I don't like moving how everybody else moves. So I do my own thing, and I share that with the comic book community. Why? Because it's what I do. It's Keep It Comics. That's how I keep it comics. It's good vibes only. And I appreciate all you guys for hanging out with me. So if you like variety, 
subscribe to the channel. And speaking of variety, we are going to do a six book giveaway. Yes, I'm going to give away six books, all in one package. I'll give you the details in about 30 seconds. All right. Now, let's talk about the number one on the market. I told y'all this whole run was heating up. <laughs> what? You didn't believe me, but it is. And it's back. Check out Tales of Suspense, issue number 63, and this is the retold origin of Captain America. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this book is absolutely on fire right now. This book is up 587%, and it doesn't seem to be coming down anytime soon. This is a great addition to anybody's collection. With a high sale of $4,801 for CGC 9.6 back in 2016, yeah, this book has a recorded sale. The last recorded sale for this book was $69. Now, the average price for the raw copy, just $23. Absolutely a beautiful price point for buying. I don't know if these books can get any lower, right? Because these are some astounding prices. Average price for a graded copy, $287. Total recorded sales, 470 books moving thus far in the secondary market. This book is going to be Super tough for you to land in high grade. The 9.6s are, 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 are right at that mark, but the 9.8s are going to be a little harder for you to get your hands on, right? But fair market value has this book resting at $23 for the raw copy in very good condition. For the low low of $23, you can own Captain America's uh, Retold Origin that is in Tales of Suspense, issue number 63. All right? So listen, that's your list. Execute carefully. Be wise. Never jump out of the airplane without a parachute. Remember, keep it comics and good vibes only. Don't let nobody hurt you and don't hurt nobody. All right? So now, like I promised, I'm glad you guys hung around to the end. If you made it this far, it's a good thing because I want to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away six books. And all you have to do to get your hands on these six books, first, I'm going to show them to you. <laughs> we are going to give away Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 26. We are going to give away uh, Titans, Beast World, issue number five. We are going to give away Avengers Twilight, book issue number three, written by Chip Zdarsky. We are going to give away uh, Comic Tom and, and Ryan's uh, and Ben's. Crash down, and we've got the first one, the first cover, and then we've got the Mac variant, right? And the last book that's added to that list, we're going to give away Star Wars issue number 42. Yes, yes, a six book giveaway. And all you have to do to get a chance to win these books is one, subscribe to the channel, two, Leave an encouraging comment in the comment section. And three, tune in to the next video to see who the winner is. It's simple. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I didn't forget your, your trivia question. I purposely held it to the end. Because I want you guys to tell me, name one member of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. All right? I held it to the end. Because I wanted to end the segment with the trivia today. Just switching up the format a little bit and seeing what it does to the algorithm. All right? So, name me one member of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. <laughs> I know you guys know. Because you guys are super smart. Exactly. I don't know. I mean, I could probably name one, but that's it. <laughs> it's obvious, right? But let's see if we can get away from the not-so-obvious. So let's name one member of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, but not the obvious one. If you name the obvious one, it's cool. But if not, I, yeah, I want to know who the other ones are. All right? So that's my time, right? I'm your boy, C3. This has been Keep It Comics, where it's good vibes only. And I'll see you guys next video. <laughs> and as always, you know what it is. Later, gators. <laughs>